Hi guys, welcome back to another one of these kinds of uh, half studio vlog, half speed paint kind of chat videos. Just to kind of catch up on how things are going with the store opening and uh, other things in general. And the painting that I'm doing in the background is another little watercolor piece of my humming fluff mascot just for fun in my sketchbook and um, yeah what was I gonna what was I gonna talk about in this video I guess first of all I should uh, just quickly introduce myself for anyone who happens to be new here I'm Minna and I make a webcomic called Stand Still Stay Silent and um, it's free to read by the way if you want to check it out and I'm currently in the process of self-publishing and getting printed the third physical volume of my comic hoping to have that ready for sale pretty soon and I'm setting up my own little online store for it and uh, I've been working on that for the last few months, couple of months by the way, if you happen to hear any buzzing intermittently during the video and uh, there's a wasp inside my home that I can't get out and I can't manage to kill it so it's just gonna be buzzing around but update time so in the last video I was mentioning how I was still waiting for a few basic things to come in for the shop launch and there was a lot of difficulties with deliveries on time because midsummer was coming up and everything in Finland kinda slows down or even stops in some cases in preparation for midsummer and everyone leaving to celebrate and um, yeah I came back from my midsummer getaway with my parents or at my parents or my families my parents and grandparents summer place and um, I came back home today just to kinda wait around just in case something arrives and I was correct everything arrived today <laughs> or by everything I mean like three different deliveries even the thing that I have been waiting for for the last three weeks I think so number one the first thing that arrived in the morning when I was still sleeping I got a phone call that the delivery was coming and what arrived was the second batch of uh, book plate stickers from the second manufacturer all right uh, book plate sticker update the second manufacturer delivered their products and uh, as you guys remember from last time if you watched uh, the last video i ordered the wrong size from both manufacturers and this one also had a problem where the paper is uh, quote-unquote paper it's really just a uh, plastic it's too glossy to write on so that's a no-go this one um, other than the size, the paper is actually paper. Um, it's not glossy. I wouldn't call it matte though. And uh, there is a slight issue, like if I wanted to order the correct size, like my old book plates. Um, it's still like really smooth, like it's a coated kind of paper. This one you can feel it, like it's rough paper. It's even rougher, I would say, than printer paper. And this one I would say it's a bit glossier or smoother than printer paper. And the issue is that regular waterproof markers like a fine liner. I drew both of these marks and waited an hour. This one is a regular micron waterproof pen that uh, I like to use for these kind of uh, things. And this one is like a super permanent kind of draw on plastic kind of uh, pen that I bought because I have had these issues before and I had to sign a bunch of uh, plastic coated book plates years ago and um, that one as you can see I've been trying to do the same kind of smudging with it and it's fine um, it's not the greatest though because it's uh, a little bit uh, more annoying to write and draw it and I don't want to do like hundreds of uh, book plate doodles with uh, that pen again. So this is plan B. If 
another manufacturer that I have now yesterday ordered from new book plates in the correct size and what they say is good writable paper. Uh, if that is good, I'm just gonna go with them. If that arrives bad also, then I'm just gonna order from this manufacturer again. Just deal with it and use this pen because it is good enough. It looks uh, just fine and uh, you guys won't notice any a difference in the which pen I use, I just uh, it's just a little bit more tough to it like kind of has a tendency to stick as you're drawing, which makes sense. It's supposed to stick really hard to the whatever surface you draw with it on. But uh, yeah, that's the situation. Plan B, I will go with this manufacturer. They have an option for like a rush order within a couple of days, and I guess if express shipping domestically. So if the next manufacturer, the third one, uh, is insatisfactory with their book plate, then I'll just go with these guys, order this size of them with the rush order and use this pen. <laughs> I guess it is a, yeah, it's a photo signing pen, see, because the photos are tended to be really glossy, right? So it's for photo artists uh, to use to sign them. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good enough. It's just annoying. But yeah, that's the update on that. Uh, I'll see you guys with uh, more updates later. Then what arrived later today was um, the wrapping papers that they ordered that I'm gonna be wrapping the books into before they go into their shipping mailers. And um, as I mentioned in the last video, I actually ordered from two different places the same batch. Because the first one I ordered from like three weeks ago and I never even got the confirmation that anything had been sent out and uh, I got kind of annoyed and worried that I wouldn't actually be receiving anything in a timely manner so I ordered from another place right before I left for midsummer weekend a few days ago and um, they pretty much sent it out the next day or the same day I think actually so yeah today I got in the morning a call from the post office that um, they would be delivering a small pallet of packing supplies for me. A cheerful man called me and let me know this and uh, he would be here in a few hours and uh, would I be able to receive the package at uh, half past two and I was like yes I can take it and, uh, and I was very relieved to get one of the packages and I didn't know which one of course was it the one from three weeks ago or the new one but yeah I was waiting around for uh, half past two delivery and then when um, a couple days not days a couple of uh, hours had gone past and it started going closer to half past two I got another call from also the post office which is you know the main delivery service in Finland and um, this time it was a woman who called and she let me know that she had a delivery a small pallet of uh, packing supplies for me uh, waiting had just arrived in uh, the post office um, in like the next town over and that she was gonna put them in her truck and uh, come deliver them for me in the next 15 minutes and I was like, oh, that's the, you know, the package. It's uh, half past two soon. And uh, I guess the guy just drove to the town and, uh, you know, they're switching like drivers. Just dropped it off there and she's taking the last leg. And uh, then I just waited around. Half past the two came in 15 minutes and uh, a big truck comes to my door. And uh, never mind, it's actually a man who is delivering the same cheerful voice the man that called me in the beginning and uh, I got my palette of wrapping paper and I was like oh I guess the woman was just like uh, like she was just the person calling beforehand making double checking that I'm actually there and it was actually the man delivering all along and uh, I got the palette and uh, I lifted in the items and saw the truck leave the driveway and stuff and immediately a next truck came along <laughs> and then it was the woman with the exact same palette of uh, wrapping paper and yeah now I have <laughs> now I have two palettes of wrapping paper I think it's like 2000 like 1000 sheets per each 
and uh, yeah, it was kind of like I was so confused, like what, who, who is delivering and uh, when? But I guess it was, uh, yeah. I got them at the same time, but they didn't come on the same truck because one of them was being shipped from, um, you know, a different direction in Finland and another one from another di direction. They just happened to both be delivered at the exact same time. <laughs> so this was um, a fun morning for me. Very stressful though. And by fun, I mean like I'm relieved that I have all of my things now. I'm not waiting for another package in this week, so I can kind of relax because I get really stressed out when I'm waiting for packages. I can't go anywhere, I'm always waiting for phone calls, I can't go to sleep, I can't go to the grocery store, I can't even go out in the garden because then I'm worried that I won't hear the doorbell ring or something. And um, <laughs> do any of you guys have the problem where you can't go to the bathroom when you're waiting for a package? to be delivered because you have to wait for the phone call because you're worried that you're in the bathroom right when the phone call comes. Um, yeah, that happened to me today and it actually happened. Like, I was so sure that I wouldn't get the phone call right when I go to the bathroom. It was gonna, only gonna take like 10 seconds. I was like, you know what, I'll just take my phone with me just in case the phone call comes and I'm sure it doesn't. And I just sat down and started doing the thing and then the phone rang, and it was very a horrifying moment. <laughs> have you, have any of you guys had that same situation? Uh, like, uh, let me know if I have other, um, um, how do you say, destiny friends? No, what's the word in English? Kohtalantover is in uh, Finnish, so that would be like the. Like you had the same suffering as I have <laughs> and having to take a delivery notice phone call when you're in the bathroom. But yeah, that's that's over now. I don't have to worry about uh, waiting for stuff. I can actually go to the grocery store or wherever when I want to. And um, I'm one step closer to being opening the store. So yeah, that's the update of that. I don't really have any other store updates because... Uh, yeah, I think the book plate stuff is still open and we're still waiting on that. But um, pretty soon I, I think I'm gonna be able to like do a little mini mini opening. But uh, I think I'll have more news on that in the next video. So what else? Um, I guess uh, I could share a little bit of um, footage from my midsummer mini vacation. You know, I was gone for the weekend and it was only an hour away at my family's summer place and I count that as a vacation. I never go anywhere so if I'm away for two days that's a vacation for me. So yeah, I took Kitty with me and it was a really nice time and um, I kind of... I can't say that I vlogged it uh, because uh, I kind of did but I only filmed Kitty. So this is a... A kitty vlog, a kitty midsummer adventure vacation vlog. So let's uh, jump into that part. The adventure starts in the car, in Kitty's cage. She hates car rides. She behaves really well and she's easy to put into her little carrier, but she is miserable and she has to have a diaper mat on the bottom because she usually pees during car rides, especially if there's dirt roads because of all of the vibrations and uh, it's only an one hour drive but uh, half of it is uh, dirt roads very winding kinds and you know what's even worse than that? it's the boat ride because uh, our family's summer place is on an island on a lake and um, thankfully it's not a very long ride but uh, it's about 10 times worse than the car. Very pretty though. And what's even worse than that is that when we get to the island there are a bunch of dogs waiting for us. Kitty does not like. But it's okay Kitty because as you know you have been here before. The dogs live with my parents and my grandparents 
on one side of the island and we live on the other side. It's the side where the sun sets and the cliffs are steep and the water is really deep and black and it's very pretty looking and there's no dogs on this side. And we have our own little cabin to ourselves. Just that two meters by two meters little thing and there's no electricity on the island and it's too small for a wood burning stove for heat so it's really just a little shelter from the wind and the mosquitoes but it's really nice in the summer to sleep in with a wonderful view and uh, it's big enough for both of us see immediately after the very traumatizing pee filled car ride and horrible boat ride kitty's already fine i mean how couldn't you be when you have a view like this straight out of the door where you're living and even kitty's little litter box fit into the into the cabin with us what more do you need when you're a little cat a view and a litter box So it was Midsummer Eve and I spent the evening until midnight with my parents and grandparents just doing the typical Finnish traditions of uh, barbecuing sausages over the fire by the lake and no bonfire kokos for us, too much hassle and we just uh, did a simple thing, Kitty was sleeping in our cabin in the meantime and uh, when I came back at midnight when everyone else went to sleep because there were too many mosquitoes to stay outside to talk about stuff anymore um, I came back and Kitty was looking like she wanted to go on an adventure now now that the dogs were asleep and uh, yeah it's midnight adventure time so let's go on a little walk around the island with Kitty she has been here before and she always enjoys going on a little walk around the island on her own. Well, not on her own. She actually much prefers to have a person with her. She always, uh, she will follow you or go in front of you and then wait for you so that she won't ever go out of like hearing and viewing distance of you, which is very nice. And uh, you will see a lot of mosquitoes buzzing around the camera because honestly there were so many and I was bitten by all of them and it's just something you have to live with when you live in Finland. <laughs> yeah Kitty is having a good time. The rocks on this side are very plentiful and uh, kind of dangerous I guess if you're not a acrobat as uh, Kitty and myself. <laughs> I was not allowed to go on this side of the island when I was a kid without a parent and uh, like safety like swimming life vests whatever they're called like the big orange ones because the water is um, like several meters deep on this side the cliff basically just goes straight down and it's very difficult to get up there's not really any places where you can like there's only a couple places where you can kind of crawl up on a rock if you get into the water and um, yeah it's not a good safe place to be if you're not a person who um, can swim I suppose but Kitty can swim and jump so she's safe over here but now she doesn't actually know if she wants to go forward she gets unsure and comes back to me that means that she wants me to lead and in these cases I have to just go and lead the way and wait for her to come to me uh, rather than let her go where she wants to go. The moment Kitty knows where she wants to go, she goes first. And now we are going to arrive on the side where the sauna is. Kitty, don't go up there. You can't get down from there. Go the way that I went. Don't try to jump down, you can't find a good spot to land on. See, you keep trying to find a spot, but you can't. Just go around, don't try it. See, I tried to even show her a way around, but no, she's stubborn. 
She has to get down right there. Alright. Oh, it's gonna happen. There it happened. Wasn't that bad. And now she's gonna go under the sauna. Of course. <laughs> she really likes going under buildings. And um, I had to kind of just uh, wait around for her to eventually emerge. Maybe 10 minutes or so. She enjoyed being uh, down there. But then eventually I saw she had appeared again. And now she was investigating the rowing boat in the shore. Right next to the sauna. And then she wanted to go back. Because Kitty likes going under buildings. But she also wants to go inside every building. Do you want to go inside? Yes, she does. This is the changing room of the sauna. It's pretty dark because, as I mentioned, there's no no electricity on the island, so you have to deal with places being dark, or you have to bring a lantern with you to uh, lighten things up. But you don't really need it during midsummer. It's light enough that you can see, uh, just not with the camera. Oh, now she wants to go into the proper sauna. Now that's gonna be dark. See, you can't see anything. There's no light in the sauna. There's one tiny window though, with a very pretty view. It's very nice uh, sauna in here. And it's pretty hot right now. Uh, it's um, It was in the use earlier, before midnight, before everyone went to bed. So let's not stay in here too long, it's getting kind of sweaty. And now we're sitting on the porch, like you're supposed to do in a sauna situation. <laughs> Looking at the view, the buckets there are for water because in addition to there not being any electricity, there's also no running water. So you have to carry your own water for washing in the sauna or cooking or drinking. Alright Kitty, do you look like you want to continue our journey? Or did you see something interesting? Oh, she saw something very interesting. What is that coming on the water? It's a swan! You see them a lot. Um, they have one of their nests in the neighboring island. So they like to swim around our island hunting for whatever they hunt for. Fish, I guess? Or maybe they eat seaweed, I don't know. But it's uh, very pretty and Kitty very correctly stayed still and did not uh, set chase. <laughs> Sorry Kitty, it went away. I know you like looking at it, but it's going far, far away to the other island. Alright, now we can continue on from the sauna area to the other side of the island where the dogs live and the spot where we had our grilling evening with the family earlier in the day. And Kitty can smell that people have been here and she can smell that the dogs were here and she's very interested in uh, going to look at them. But I'm sorry Kitty, everyone's sleeping in there, I can't let you in. And that's the dog's bowls! I know you're very interested. I can't let you in. But the dogs are very cute. Uh, they're rough collies, I think they're called. The older one is called Tori and this one is called Echo. Alright Kitty, can we continue on our journey? No, we could not. She wanted to sit there for about uh, half an hour, going around the cabin, trying to get in somehow to the dogs. <laughs> but uh, eventually, when I waited long enough, she jumped down from the balcony. Why? I don't know. She could have gone down the stairs that she came up to, but she wanted to jump. And here she's coming, and we are continuing to the last corner of the island before we can go back because I'm getting pretty mosquito bitten at this point. And now we're at the boat shed where she once again went under it and uh, vanished for a while. And so I just had to kinda um, sit around and wait for her to eventually emerge from somewhere. Which she did from inside the boat slash snowmobile slash fishing supply shed. Alright Kitty, can we go inside now? Please! We live over here. Can we go and hide from the mosquitoes and sleep maybe a little bit? Come on Kitty, I know you also want some food. Do you know that we live there? 
Yeah, she knows that we live there. Look at her go. She knows that this is the last stop of the journey. And uh, she was happily getting some food after the wonderful adventure that took like two hours because she was so <laughs> interested in everything. And now it's time to go to bed and Kitty wants to stomp on my tummy for a little bit. What's that Kitty? Do you think the window has a really nice view? I think it has a really nice view. And I just remembered that I forgot my eye covers at home because it never gets dark and there's no blinds on this window. Kitty agrees it's gonna be hard to sleep in all this light. Never mind, Kitty can sleep in any position or condition ever and uh, she had a very good sleep. And honestly, that's really all we did while we were here. As in sleep, we slept most of the day, both me and Kitty in the cabin. Well, I was really used to lying there and staring at the roof, trying not to really think about anything, just relaxing, enjoying the sound of the waves and birds outside, and ignore the sound of mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, I did um, obviously hang out a bit with my parents and uh, help them with a little bit of renovation that we're doing in one of the cabins. But yeah, I think I spent like 10 hours on Saturday just lying there, not really doing anything at all. I had planned to draw a little bit. I had taken like paper and pen with me because I thought I would do the script for the next chapter of the comic. But nope, I didn't take anything out. I had my phone with me, didn't do anything with that either. I was just lying there and daydreaming. Which is good because I, I needed a bit of rest and uh, I got it one day, <laughs> but it was enough for me. Uh, we got back in, on Sunday um, afternoon. My dad just uh, drove me with the boat to the shore and uh, made sure I managed to get out of the parking lot. He was worried that, <laughs> like he literally said that he was not gonna leave with the boat from the shore until he saw my car drive out into the woods because I guess he was worried that it would just stall for some reason. <laughs> Parents. And of course it was just a perfectly fine ride home. Kitty... I feel like Kitty is too old to hold her pee in the car anymore because she used to be able to go like a four hour drive to my parents and not pee most of the times but now even a one hour drive uh, she pees every time and uh, yeah, so I pretty much just have the diaper mat under her every time and uh, it's fine. But even though she hates the car rides, um, as you saw in the video, she was perfectly fine immediately when she was let out of the carrier. Like she forgets and forgives the horrible car drives immediately. And the same when we came home, like she even puked in the car on the ride home, even though she hadn't gotten any food for like eight hours. and. The moment I let her out, she was like happy, running around, wanted food immediately, ate a bunch, slept, went outside. So she doesn't like get traumatized from it. And she never fights me when I put her in the carrier, like she just lets me do it every time. So I don't know, I guess um, the happiness of getting out of the car makes her immediately forget that she didn't like the car ride or something. But yeah, I'm back home now. It was just a weekend away. I had to come back home for work, as you, as you know. So that's the story of my midsummer great vacation. <laughs> and that's it for this video, I think. I'm gonna next get to work on writing the script for the next chapter. So yeah, that's on the agenda next. And I will make a video next week, probably, most likely, since uh, the comic is on the break. There's no reason to not not have a video and uh, if I have any new updates on the store, I will have updates. If not, it will just be a fun let's look at my garden kind of uh, video with some drawing in it. But yeah, I'll see you then and um, bye for now. <laughs>